Yes, you are. We see the flag all over the place on the 4th of July. And not just in flag form. Okay. People love making clothes and little tchotchkes out of it. Drinks out of kind of red, white, and blue theme. Treats that look like our flag. So, gee, I thought I would try and get in on the DIY fun. Okay. I saw a cake online that when you cut it open, uh. it looks like the American flag. So, come on over All right. to my kitchen, my dear. Let's see right. if I was able to do it. I saw this on Instagram. Wow, nice. And it's supposed to be, Are we when you cut it open, okay. it's supposed to be a flag. Are we wait, ready to see? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Are you doing this right now? Oh yeah. my goodness. We gotta right. check it out. Drum roll. I'll tell you how I did it afterwards, if, if it works. But my kids helped me. Okay. Let's see if it works. Oh Today. my gosh. Make it a big enough cut so we can see inside. Did you notice how I did lots of sprinkles? Because, yes. okay. Okay, it's beautiful. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Wow! It really does! You guys! Look at that! All right, okay! My goodness! Oh my I'm gosh. actually shocked that it worked. That's cool. That is. Wow! Look at that! Oh, God bless America! <laughs> Beautiful. This is amazing. Okay, so should I, do you want to know how I did it? Yes, please. Now that we know it worked. Okay, so come on over here. Okay. You need two boxes of just vanilla cake mix. Okay. And then you split it into four bowls and you do two with red food coloring, a blue food coloring, and you leave one white. And then I had to buy this special tool too because wow. I didn't even, I'm not a baker and I didn't know they had these special tools, mm. but you can like cut a cake to the even size here. So I used this to kind of like cut it to wow. make sure that the cake was the same height all around. Okay. Okay. So then you just put your red layer first mm -hmm. using this little guy, I cut them in half. So here's the red, first red layer. And then kind of just like spread. Spread this yeah. icing here. And okay. then. Yeah, right. nicely done. Yeah. I don't think I you mean, need that much. I oh. used three pounds of frosting oh, sorry. for that first one. I was a little too. But the problem was, see how it gets all crummy like yeah, that? Yeah, I'm gonna try Well, to... I learned there's a thing called a crumb layer that Ooh, you're supposed to like do a yeah. little layer first and then you're supposed to put it in the fridge and it prevents this, but whatever. Okay, we're just, yeah, we're just showing everybody how we did it. So then we put the white layer okay. on. Mm -hmm. Then you continue. Don't okay. worry, my hands are clean in the kitchen. Okay. So then we're gonna put that layer on and then that's fine. Just. Perfect. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Sorry, I'm not do going it, yeah, you're gonna do you. it great. And then we put on the red layer. Mm -hmm. And then, do you see what I did with this blue layer? This is the secret. You just use a regular kitchen cup, cutting out the center of your blue layer, and you're gonna slap this one on top of these three. Oh, that looks okay, gorgeous. Slap it on top. Right. Mm -hmm. And this one is double. So when I use this tool to cut the cakes in half, I didn't do it with this one. I doubled the size of it. So do you I want your blue piece. as well? Um, so then we're gonna do red. You're gonna put the little white piece in the center. Okay. Just give it a little, just slap it with a little bit. Okay, yeah. Slap. And then we're gonna put the red piece and it should kind of even out. Nice. <laughs> and then you slap it all on top. Okay, now what I did is all. I kind of messed up and there was like, you could see all of the pieces of cake, the red, white, and blue, but it could be like a confetti cake too. What I did to kind of make it better was just added a ton of sprinkles. Okay. And that just covered up all my mistakes. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. I'm so wow. excited this worked, you guys. This is be sprinkles, beautiful. Sprinkles, sprinkles. There we and go. And yeah, really, I didn't really have to make much. I bought the frosting, I bought the cake mix, I threw uh -huh. three eggs in the cake mix. Okay. Was, that's a day, G. Wow, that's I incredible. actually forgot to bring you a fork, but do you want to try it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Is it any good? Um, oh God, it's good. Is it? Okay. Wow, really good. Betty Crocker. Mm. She knows what she's doing. Oh, it's Gee, buttercream what? frosting though. It's so good, isn't it? It's so good. Wow, beautiful. So give it a try this 4th of July. Sarah, you did it. Yeah. Aren't you proud of yourself? Not too bad. We're gonna put all the information online. I know I kind of went through it quickly, but. Listen. If you wanna make it, there's a link to the Instagram post that I saw that helped show me everything. I'm so proud of you. The viewers are proud of you. And you did your country <laughs> proud today. Thank you so mm. much for that American flag cake. Beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome.